Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to show you how I make a no knead dough. And I am going to make, I have some beautiful wild mushrooms that I've picked. And I'm going to make a wild mushroom pizza for my husband. And I'm going to make cinnamon bread for my daughter. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this dough. How uncomplicated it is to make the cinnamon uh, roll and also once you have the dough you could quickly make a very fast pizza that takes no time at all and you can top it with mushrooms with uh, diced tomatoes uh, what i normally do if i'm making a tomato one is that i dice it and i make sure all the water drains out of it and then i toss some olive oil some salt black pepper and some garlic and i top and rosemary sorry and i top the pizza with that almost like a pagacha that's how soft this dough is but I'm going to show you how easy it is for me to make it. I just want to dry my bowl because I don't want the flour to stick to the side. Now, I never measure, so I'm showing you how to make it without measuring ingredients. It's the easiest way for me to cook. And once you get a hang of it, it's going to be easy for you too. My daughter kept saying, how do you make your bread? How do you make your dough? And if you see her now, she's a whiz at it. And she never uses any recipe whatsoever. So now, because I want to make a bread and a small pizza, well, not small, more like a medium large, I'm going to need quite a bit of flour. Now, you don't want to fill this up with flour because it will rise. But you want to have flour maybe halfway up this bowl that's how much flour you want to put in and we're going to start off adding my flour pretty much always heaping because i want to make quite a bit and the best part is if you don't use up all your dough you could always put that dough in the refrigerator and you can always use it to make a flatbread or another little maybe fried dough bread so it never gets wasted, guys. So if you have extra flour, extra dough, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so I've got like half of this bowl. It's not the biggest bowl. But remember, you make a little bit of dough, you get a little bit of bread or a little bit of pizza. If you make a lot, you're going to have extra. And in my house, extra is always good. Okay, to this, I'm going to put just a drizzle. Of olive oil you really don't need a lot of it we're gonna put some yeast now I would say about maybe a package of yeast I'm using loose yeast and it's the quick rise you see the tiny tiny little pellets that's a quick rise yeast so I'm using about I would say one package of yeast okay and to that we're going to put just a little bit of salt okay i'm using pink himalayan but you could use whatever salt you have and we're going to put a little bit of maple not a lot and here we go now the rest is going to be water so we're going to do this slowly and I'm using warm water and that's really going to make this yeast activate. So we're going to keep adding and testing out our dough. You see, that's already way too thick. A little bit of extra water. And remember you can't, and it's still too thick. Notice how everything is forming into a ball. And I'm going to show you just a little extra. Now, here we go. Notice how the dough is. Now, if you find that, oh, I put too much water, that's not a problem. Add extra flour. You can't go wrong. You have extra dough, you have extra bread. That's not a problem whatsoever. So by playing around with your dough, you're going to be able 
to get a very easy fast no need bread all we did is give it a good mix notice how soft this is so we're just mixing this up just a little bit okay now we will add just a little bit of flour on top I am going to push this in with my finger there we go and I'm gonna get my spatula just to get everything off the sides Now, if you find this is way too sticky and you're saying, oh, Connie, this is, I can't work with this. It's way too sticky, way too soft. Like I said, not a problem. You're going to take some flour and you're going to just add it like this. Almost like you're making a cake. And that should be good. Nice and soft. Okay. Just a little dusting on top and now I'm gonna get myself a little sheet of wax paper there we go and we're just gonna spray it just a little bit of olive oil and we're going to add it right on top we're going to put this in either an oven that you can proof with some ovens today have proofing so you could do that or you can heat up your oven once it's warm remember hot summer day never like that you're going to cook it it has to feel like a hot summer day and then you could shut your oven and then you can put your bowl in there to rise and you should be good okay so I'm gonna put this to proof and then I'm gonna show you again what I'm gonna do later on you want it to kind of rise all the way up to the top of your bowl that can take some a couple of hours depending how warm your house is depending if you have a cold draft my mushrooms as you can tell are already cooked these are wild mushrooms this is a mix of pulcinis, uh, what I call sticky buns, uh, maybe another name for them is slippery jacks. Uh, what else did I have here? I had some small puff balls. Um, what else did I have in here? Slippery jacks. There's one that they call chicken fat because it looks like, if you look at the top, it looks like a blob of chicken fat and it's actually a beautiful mushroom that we can consume I do remove the skin if it's a slippery jack or the chicken fat I do remove the skin because it's almost like leather it's like a stretchy leather almost like you know if you ever had a sunburn and your skin is your skin is burned and you're peeling off the skin <laughs> I'm kind of gross but that's what it feels like so those I do remove but the pochinis and the puff balls I did not so it's a mix of wild mushrooms and it's gonna be delicious my husband is gonna love his dinner and for Erica of course I'm gonna make her a beautiful cinnamon bread uh, that is so delicious guys okay so like I said uh, practice does make perfect play around with your dough when you're making you really don't have to measure I know a lot of people say I don't know how to make bread I don't know how to make pizza dough it comes too hard it comes too dry uh, the softer your dough is, the more tender your pizza is going to be. And I believe this is, you see how long this took? I didn't have to do any kneading whatsoever. I just give that bowl a good mix, added the warm water. That's going to activate that yeast and magic. Everything's going to rise for you. And when it comes up, if you find it's a little too sticky, a little sprinkle of flour will do the trick. It'll bring it down for you. And then you could either let it rise again or at that point, you're going to be able to either stretch your dough. I'm telling you, this is easy. You can get easier than this. 
anyhow um, I'm gonna put this aside I'm gonna let it rise and um, yeah I'll see you in a little bit all right okay so I put this in I'd say around 11 o'clock I'm gonna show you how much it's risen well you can actually see it's all the way up to the top and we're just going to scrape as much as we can off this paper there we go just push that over to the side much as you can off the paper you could also use plastic if you have some plastic I try not to use as much plastic anymore so I don't buy any of the saran wraps but if you have saran wrap you can use that okay so I'm just going to push this aside and notice how soft look how soft this is this is super soft guys this dough is not a very dense dough oh just lost my spatula okay I'm gonna separate this I'm gonna take let me just clean my hands I'm going to take some I'm going to put aside to make um, pizza. I'm going to take more of this dough for pizza and less of it for making my bread. So I'm not going to divide this in half. I'm just going to take about two thirds of it for, uh, for the pizza and a third of it to make a small bread. Let me just go get my pizza tray. It's an ugly tray, guys, so I'm warning you ahead of time. This is just a metal tray that I use all the time because it gives me the best pizza ever. Okay, it's ugly, but it works for me, guys. So I'm going to put some oil, and I'm just going to wipe this down. There we go. Sometimes the ugliest things are the best things to use. And I am going to take, like I said, oops. Oh, might as well just use my hands okay let me just you see how soft this is guys I'm warning you ahead of time this is very soft dough okay so we're gonna use a little bit of oil and I am gonna take as much as I can off a of year okay and I'm gonna drop it I'm trying to do this without knocking everything down okay right in the center so that's about a third of the dough yeah that should be good put this aside All right, and we're going to add some oil on top and we're just going to push this over. Now, if you're scared of making soft dough like this, you could always firm it up a bit. Like I said, you could have added more flour. Like I said, this is a very soft, soft dough. Push 
push it as much as I can. This will rise again. And if you, I'll show you, if you feel this is way too soft for you, all you need is a little bit of flour. And you just sprinkle it on top. And that'll help you push out your dough further. Okay, don't be afraid to use the flour if you need to. Push, push, push. And we're going to push this aside and we're going to make this rise again. Okay. I'm going to make a little bit of soup. Since I'm only making one pizza, I'm going to make a little bit of soup. There we go. Okay. Look at the gacha, guys. Okay. So I'm just going to push this aside and it's going to rise again. So I'm just going to put this right over my, my oven, my oven top. I'm not going to show you, but that's where it is. And now I'm going to get myself some parchment. And I'm going to show you how I do my, my bread. Okay, I'm going to do it lengthways so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to start off with flour. And like I said, if you're afraid to have it as soft as I made it, Make it a little firmer, guys. But you do want a very soft dough. You don't want to knead this at all. And you saw how it rised. Very soft, guys. Very soft dough. All right, here we go. Now this, I'm gonna start using flour to stretch it out. Okay, stretch and stretch. More flour. Okay, whip, stretch. And we're going to add a little extra flour. Stretch, 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 stretch. Okay. Add more flour if you have to. You do not, you, you do not want your hands to get sticky with this. Okay. Splash, splash, splash. Okay, if it breaks, it's not the end of the world. Okay, ready? I'm going to start off with a little bit of white sugar. And we're going to put, where is it? Okay, we're going to put a little bit of cinnamon. Very easy to do. Okay, I'm gonna go get some brown sugar. Okay, 
okay all right we're gonna put some margarine you don't have to put this is vegan margarine but you don't have to put that you could put coconut oil if you want a oh, little piece of bread okay okay and I'm gonna use here let me just clean my hands I'm telling you it's very easy to do guys and I am not using chocolate chips I'm using carob delicious remember you put a lot you get a lot you put a little you get a little so that's really up to you how much margarine or but vegan butter you want how much sugar you want if you want even less sugar you can do less sugar these are very sweet the carrots so like I said as much as you want I'm gonna put just a little extra cinnamon okay and now I'm gonna start rolling it remember this is very soft guys If you have to, you keep adding a little bit of flour just to, or maybe use a spatula. Let me get a, to help me roll it. Very soft dough, so you want to be careful, but you could also remember, you could always add a little extra flour to help you guide it. There we go. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, a little extra flour on top. Roll. Okay. Okay. That's why you want some parchment or you want some you want parchment or you want um, there we go. wax paper for sure okay and we're gonna start pinching this shut pinch it down okay I want to show you what I'm doing here okay This way okay we want to pinch down the ends that way soft to work with but trust me when this cooks it's gonna be delicious and pinch it this way okay add some extra flour if you have to on this side on this side and we're just going to slowly roll it so we get yeah close that up there we go okay and now we're going to cut it in the middle and we're going to open it up you want to see the insides okay so we're going to take this side and we're going to cross it over. Let me see if I could do this without breaking it. There we go. Push it over. I'm going to pick up this side and cross it over. And we're going to cross that over. Cross that over. cross that over and that's it okay I know it feels like it's a messy job but it's worth it at the end okay I have my cast iron I reused my papers guys so 
Don't freak out on me. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of salt on top, salt and sweet, and we're going to add a little extra cinnamon. And we're going to add just a little extra. Not a lot, because there's plenty inside. And if you don't want to use that, you could just spray it with some olive oil. Okay, a little extra sugar for some crunch. And we're going to put this to rise with the pizza dough. I'm just going to show you the pizza dough since I've been doing this. It's getting nice. See how it's rising? Okay. So I'm going to clear this off and I'm going to see you after this is almost completely to the top. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, so don't be afraid. If you find that your dough is too soft while you're mixing it, I would say make it just a little firmer. Uh, my bread roll didn't look so pretty as I was putting it in because my dough is very soft, but it will be beautiful at the end. Trust me, it's just going to be a gorgeous piece of bread. Same thing with the pizza. It's going to be very soft, so you got to get used to how to stretch that soft dough. Remember, either oil on your fingers or sprinkle flour on top and then help, it stre uh, help stretch that dough as much as you can. Uh, the amount that I made, made a large pizza tray. Let me see if I can show you. I mean, this is a nice size pizza tray. This is what I guess you would call a medium to... Uh, medium to large yeah and then we're going to finger punch it down see I can stretch it even a little more if I want now so there we go this is going to continue to rise and then I'm going to put my mushrooms on top of this Actually, I could put some rosemary now. This rosemary is thanks to my brother-in-law. Thank you, Sesti. Okay, beautiful. This is more like a fagacha type bread. It's a set of doing the long process of making a fagacha. You make your dough nice and soft, and you can make a fagacha in no time at all. Very, very easy to do. Just a little bit of patience getting used to the dough. That's the magic trick is getting used to the dough. Okay, so I'm putting that aside. That's going to rise. And here is, by the way, I want to just show you. If you remember watching my video where I was canning my beets and I planted that beet. There it is. It's already growing. And in no time at all, I'm going to have beautiful shoots I can put even on pizza if I want to. And... I am making a very simple lentil soup. All it is is green lentil, a little bit of olive oil, water, uh, three cloves of garlic. There's going to be salt, pepper. That is it. That is going to be the soup. And we're going to have that wild mushroom pizza that is going to be cooked up very soon. So that's what we're going to have next to it. All right, guys. I just want to show you 
Yeah, I guess you can see it better this way. It's not so big in your face. Let me see. There we go. Uh, there's my beautiful pizza. Now I want to show you. It's still rising. But there's my beautiful bread. Look how high it got. It's going to get even higher than that by the time I'm done with it. Okay, but we're going to deal with the pizza first. Hey, that's going to go into the oven at a 450. I'm preheating it now. Here are my beautiful mushrooms. I am using my hands. They're clean. I've been doing dishes all day. We're going to spread these mushrooms on top. And we're going to eat this with some delicious plain lentil soup, guys. This is just going to be a wild mushroom pizza. Okay. And that's how you have a beautiful... And those mushrooms were free, guys. Get to know how to forage mushrooms. It's not as hard as it sounds. And come spring, summer, and fall, you could always have free food in your house. Okay, so I'm just going to push it in like I would a fogaccia. And as soon as my oven reaches the temperature, it's going to go in. So now I have rosemary and mushrooms. Okay. A little bit of black pepper. Some extra salt because I didn't put that much. I never cook my mushrooms with salt. Salt is going to make your mushrooms pull a lot of water out and then you're basically making a soup so I say put olive oil cook your mushrooms you could use spices and herbs if you want but don't use the salt till the very end okay so as soon as my oven reaches this is gonna go in okay here's my soup very simple all it is you could use green or brown lentil and just water garlic a little bit of olive oil if you want to leave the olive oil out you can do that too salt and black pepper and that is how we're gonna have soup tonight can't get more easy than that guys very very easy there's nothing there's no onions there's no celery it's only lentil and water oh my god so good i love lentil and i think lentil is perfect combined with this beautiful rustic pizza really really good and like i said don't hate on my tray but it works for me. I love this tray. I think the day it falls apart, I'm going to probably fall apart too. All I do is use this flimsy tray that I've been using. I can't even tell you how long. I've got more than one, so that's a good thing if this falls apart. At least I have another one. And when I'm done with the pizza, I will be cooking that, guys. And if you're afraid to make that very soft dough like I did, make it a little firmer for yourself. I mean, this is really how you like to cook. I'm just giving you ideas on how I do things. Like, I never measure anything. I always eyeball it. So sometimes it comes a little softer. Like today, I find that my dough was a little softer. Uh, but it's not the end of the world because it's still going to work. Play around with your doughs. Like I said, if you find it's too hard for you to handle... Uh, just sprinkle some of that flour on top because you still want it a lot softer than a dough that you would need on a counter. You don't want to need this dough. But, you know, give it a try. Play around with it. If you're afraid to make big batches, make a small batch. You can make a little tart. Just make a small batch of dough with some hot water and some, uh, some yeast. Erica was telling me, I can never make bread. I can never make bread. It seems so hard. It seems so hard. She did it once and that's it. She's a pro now. You should see her. She pulls out pizzas, pagachas. You want a firmer dough? Go ahead and make a firmer dough. Nobody's telling you you have to make a soft dough like this. This I don't have to need, but a firmer dough, you will have to need it. But just to give you ideas, little things that you can make for your family. When you're making pizza dough, you could also make dessert for them. So, you know, give it a try and see what you think. And if you're making something simple like this, just a mushroom pizza, beautiful lentil soup, goes great with it. I'm going to do both of them at the same time. There's room in my oven. Okay, guys. There we go. 
There we go. 30 minutes for the pizza. And then I'll check my bread and see if it has to stay a little longer. You want a nice hard crust on that bread. Um, yeah, dinner's going to be ready in no time at all, guys. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bread. Not sure if you can see the sides. I'm not going to pull it apart yet because it's hot, but I do have a picture of one that we made a day or two ago and it was cracked open. But there's our beautiful bread. How simple and how beautiful is that? Okay, I'm just going to put this aside. And the pizza is almost done. And then I'll show you what that looks like. A very simple soup. You can get more simple than that, guys. Beautiful lentil soup. A little bit of basil and that is what we're gonna have next to that pizza push this aside here we go and there's the pizza how beautiful is she just turn that off going to be Erica's. And that is Erica's pizza. Look at that. Can you see that? With some delicious mushrooms. And then later on, she's going to have a little bit of dessert. So I hope you like this video, guys. I know it was kind of everywhere, <laughs> but just wanted to show you, you can really make uh, meals that are very easy to make you don't have to do a lot of work and the best part is that it's a fraction of the price mushrooms were free the dough really didn't use that much flour lentils are very cheap to buy and you make yourself a great meal for your family so i hope you like this video guys and if you give it a try let me know what you think and i'll put up a picture of how that delicious cinnamon bread looks like in the inside. So I'm going to say I love you and I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.